That title is not clickbait. Stick around to see how eBay pays for my vacations. So welcome, folks, to the other depths of the entire Internet. I'm glad you're here. I'm excited. Thank you for being here. Now, if you're new to these parts, I'm an online reseller for the past 13 years, and this video is going to be packed with information that's going to hopefully help you on your own online reselling adventure. Now, I'm currently on vacation, and it wasn't cheap to get here. I'm out here in sunny California. I live in Georgia, but I've been thrifting my way across America to get here and I want to show you what I find while on vacation to help pay for this trip because these iced coffees out here, they're about double the price of what they are in Georgia. So this video is the second of this vacation series. If you missed the first one, I'll put it down in the links below, but I'll put it here on screen through the magic of the internet's abilities. At the end of the last video, we left Iowa and we were about $137 in our pockets, an estimated profit amount. Now, the numbers you're gonna see on the screen throughout this video, they're going to be my estimated net profits after fees, after selling fees, after shipping fees, and after my purchase price. So keep in mind that that's what we're looking at. Let's get to thrifting. So we're feeling good off from the show me state of Missouri into the show me the corn state of Iowa. Found this fantastic store, Thriftology. Uh, I highly recommend you check it out. Kind of small, kind of cluttered, but perfect if you like digging through stuff, and that's perfect for me. I found this vintage starter pro line green green bay they're not the the best team in the nfl that's not throwing shade to any fans out there uh better luck this year if they won the uh, super bowl maybe i'd get a few more bucks i'm going to hold on to this till football season and try to get a little bit of a premium but i think i can sell this for 25 to 30 bucks and then i, I looked around the shop but wasn't really finding anything however up near the counter up near the price register they had this bucket of old Tyco vintage 1990s uh, Beauty and the Beast, Little Mermaid, and I think a few other properties, maybe Cinderella or Snow White. So I saw that they had this bucket, plus there were some items on the wall, and I thought just to ask him for a, a, a bulk deal. So he ended up giving me a pretty decent price. I bought everything in there, plus a few other items that you'll see in just a minute for a hundred bucks. And a lot of these things sell for. Uh, 10 to 15 to 25 dollar range so i'm gonna lot some of these up like the 10 dollar ones i'll probably lot up together and then sell like anything that's worth 20 bucks so i end up thinking i'll make at least 50 bucks overall on just these particular items then i found this old bank little mermaid's the star of the show i think i can get like 45 or 50 bucks if sebastian is getting almost 40 bucks i'm thinking i can get like 45 for little mermaid vintage bank pretty cool now some of you may be thinking why do you want to work on vacation or is it really vacation if you're working and that's a fair question to ask but here's the thing i love reselling and just like when i am at home in georgia reselling is pretty convenient it slips easily right into my regular life which is actually one of my favorite perks of this reselling life is it's extremely flexible it fits into my life same while i'm on vacation i'm getting to travel across america eat amazing food drink amazing iced coffee and i'm discovering this land through thrift stores in small town america i mean what a time to be alive didn't have amazing luck at that first thrift store so i stuck around sioux city iowa and went to this amazing gospel mission thrift store great prices come see what's new don't mind if i do sandals three bucks each what a great price so i find right away these Tiva sandals and Tiva is a great brand. They're a little bit dirty, but nothing I can't clean up. And they sell, I think I can get about 30 to 35 bucks for these. So it's gonna it's gonna be about a 15, 20 dollar bill in my pocket. And then I find these Taos, Taos, Taos. I'm not sure how to speak English, but that's, you know, what's new. Again, great brand. I think I can get about 35 bucks for these. And then I find these shiny new clog looking things. Uh, not as, uh, they're, the, the brand is Sloggers. It's a new brand to me. So that's cool to learn something new and not a lot of value but for three bucks and i can sell for about 25 bucks i'll take that pretty much every time then i find something i've never seen before new balance hiking boots i had no idea new balance made hiking boots i don't know if they still do i certainly haven't seen them i'm certainly not aware if they do but these old vintage hiking boots are a little bit dirty but again they're they're uh, pretty gently used otherwise they're they're a little worn in but i think you know even in the same condition they're selling for about 60 bucks online and i got them for five bucks so pretty cool uh pretty cool to see this old new balance brand found this schaefer t-shirt schaefer trucking and this this is what stuck out was this this beautiful embossed artwork really cool and i love this company's motto there are no shortcuts it reminds me of of what i believe in that message of 
of working harder, not smarter, because you can't really work smarter until you have done the hard work to know what smarter is. Picked up this shirt, it's selling for about 30 bucks on eBay. So that's coming home and I got it for, I think they were selling t-shirts for about two bucks. Harley Davidson's are a little bit all over the place, kind of contingent on the, the style, the artwork, the city, the year. Uh, this one doesn't have a lot of value. Uh, it sells for about 15 to 20 bucks. But again, I'm paying two bucks for it. So I did pick this up. And we're moving on from the Corn State to South Dakota, where Mount Rushmore happens to be, and also my favorite, the Devil's Tower. And we found some uh, Super Scooters coffee. And I love this brand. A really big coffee size. And I have a happy face on the top of my mug, which made me very happy. So I was really happy when I found a thrift store called The Thrift Store. And this place, one of the most organized, Organized and clean thrift stores I have certainly ever seen. It felt so much like a department store. Just everything was so organized. Uh, you, you can see here, it's just pretty impeccable for a, a thrift store. Things are, even in the, the arts and crafts section, they had everything down to individual buckets. And it was pretty impressed. I had a tough time finding anything that I could sell because the prices were a little bit high. I found this two bucks, this Gorilla Butt thing, but the, the sell-through late was really not very good that only two had sold over the past 90 days and there was like 20 listed so i left this behind these prices were just pretty crazy these merrill shoes great brand but they're selling for only about 25 30 bucks on ebay and this thrift store is asking 25 but i did see this shoe sale 50 percent off so i went back through the shoes and and reconsidered and i found these crocs again 14 dollars is too high even seven dollars is higher than i want to pay but I still think I can sell these for about 30 to 35 bucks and, 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 and make some money. And same with these New Balance, really wonderful, beautiful condition shoes. They're asking 15. That's just too much for these. Even 750 is typically higher than I would pay for these at a thrift store. However, still profitable. And I did pick these up for $7.15. I can sell them for about 25, 30 bucks. Found these beautiful Saucony, obviously a great brand, the Saucony. I think that's how you say it. Or Saucony, Saucony, I'm not sure. Again, English language uh, is confusing. And I can sell these for like 40 to 50 bucks. And I'm paying 10. They were asking 20, 50% off. So I put these in the cart and um, I think I, I think I can get a good 40 to 50 bucks. I found this game. I love selling board games, as you know. Star Wars Life, fantastic, except for it was selling for eight dollars, which is still manageable. However, it tells you that it's missing a couple pieces. But I could have doubled my money. Sometimes you can go on eBay and find replacement pieces for pretty cheap. But if I'm only making $8 and still have to buy replacement pieces, I would have been out of money. Then I find this. DVDs were half off. Found this. This was factory sealed, brand new. So marked down to $5. And it's a great price. I can make about $24, $25 on that. And then I ended up finding the Downtown or Downton Abbey original UK edition. I always want to say Downtown Abbey. Selling for 9 bucks, too high. But at four fifty, I can. it's sold out on Amazon, so I get to make my own price. I'm going to try to get like 20 to 25 bucks out of this for sure. So cool little find. Now we're out of South Dakota already and on to... Why Oming? Why Oming? Well, why not Oming? Because I found this Seconds on Avenue. It's a uh, had two floors. It's not every day I find two floor thrift stores, so I was pretty excited to get in there. And they had an amazing uh, sale on their their board games. Only two dollars for virtually all their board games, which is actually really cool. You don't really find board games even at garage sales for that cheap all the time. Uh, so I found a few board games. They didn't all make it into the video. And then I found this Lamax Halloween uh, Spooky Town. And I'm going to hold on to this until the fall, until it gets closer to Halloween. I can get a premium. It's selling for about 50 bucks right now. But I think towards Halloween, I can probably sell this for roughly uh, 60 bucks. I'm, I'm guessing. And then these Sony Dream Machines, they've their, their value's all over the place. It used to be worth a lot more. And I was actually going to put this back because I thought the battery cover was missing. However, that's how this model comes. And they're only asking three bucks. So keep an eye out. I did pick this up. Sony Dream Machines. This sells for about 20 bucks. But different models sell for different values. Now, I didn't buy these glasses, but I did want to talk about them. These are Red Lobster glasses. They have some value, but they have even more value because recently they've been in the news. Red Lobster's going out of business, bankruptcy, which gives a premium on products. They're a classic example of 
a company or a corporation that ends up going out of business, but there are collectors that are still out to look for their products and they become a premium as they're going to be more rare. Toys R Us is a classic example, or even when it just becomes relevant in pop culture like Barbie did last year and Barbie movie came out, there's a premium on Barbie products. So anytime you see stuff in the news, look out for those products. These games didn't make the video, but I'm making 10, 12, $14 on these $2 board games. So these are a great find and we are now moving on. And before I left, I wanted to check out the glass case where they keep the finer things in life. And you probably already know this, but just in case you don't, I wanted to highlight the Skylanders and Amiibos. They can have some real value. You can buy these in bulk at garage sales and flea markets and such. And sometimes you can bulk these up for hundreds of dollars. So keep an eye out for. So we're going to leave... Uh, South Dakota here with a road trip income of around $433 and we're sitting here this is where we're headed next on top of the Beartooth Parkway in Montana one of the most beautiful drives I've certainly ever been on I highly recommend about 11,000 feet up in this picture go there please use eBay to help pay for your vacation all the way to Beartooth Parkway thanks a lot for watching guys and on to Montana we go we'll see you next week Thanks.